Many companies have long understood that water is not simply an abundant, low-cost input. They recognize that not having water can have serious material risk for the business. They've also recognized that being a waster of water or a polluter of water can affect the company's legal and or social licensed operate, particularly in water stress regions. We know that this past year has been marked by tragic loss. Yet in the midst of this pandemic, there is also the opportunity to shape COVID recovery plans that emphasize water solutions and define a more sustainable path for future growth. This is not only a requirement to spur equitable economic recovery, but it's fundamental for the health and well-being for workforces, for communities, and for economies. Equitable access to water, sanitation, and hygiene are also key drivers of gender equality. Three quarters of the jobs in the global workforce depend on water. So private sector really has a key role to play also in building capacities in your businesses, within your workforce, and the communities that you work in to strengthen the water sector. And for us, that entails to both replenish more than we consume at the global scale, while focusing that work in water stress basins where we have operations, as well as to enable access for 1.5 million people in seven countries where we operate. The disparity between water supply and demand will continue to increase if nothing changes. And that's why action at the local level is critical to achieving your water goals. Many companies have set ambitious goals to address these concerns. A gap still exists between good intentions and actions. We really need to scale up innovative practices and technologies. We need to mobilize more and better targeted financing. And we absolutely need to generate and share more and higher quality data and information to guide policy and decision making. Our aim is really to help use this accelerator framework to unite our global efforts to solve the water and sanitation crisis in countries. So. These um, transformative opportunities can only be possible with the joint leadership of the business sector. Unfortunately, few of these leading companies have a clear understanding of how climate will impact their water systems in regions that are important to their business. We know we cannot have a healthy functioning supply chain if we don't take more action and we're taking many steps to reduce both our water use and also support communities to ensure that we have a more sustainable future regarding water security. Not only do we need to address conservation and replenishment, we also need to be looking at water quality, water access, sanitation and hygiene, as well as overall ecosystem health. And so this is again why we need to integrate water into our climate discussions and to ensure that if we are going to build a resilient future, that we need to take this comprehensive approach to responding to the climate crisis. One of the positive components of the WRC is how can we not only take shared collective action, but how can we develop a shared understanding of what the key water challenges are, key stresses are at the local scale that we can all benefit from and that we all don't have to sort of write our independent reports that we can use to inform our actions. Learning from the experience of other countries and similarly challenged crises is really for us a very important starting point. And I think it takes away the anxiety, if you want to call it that, of trying to start a collective platform from scratch. And it allows one to draw the lessons quickly. Collective action, as you know, is essential because water is a shared resource. So the challenges and solutions must be shared as well. And we must recognize there's still a lot more to be done individually and collectively to ensure that we're protecting water and preserving the environment because the two are inextricably linked. And also the links to human well-being and quality of life. However, if we fail to act, the growing problem of water scarcity will cost billions. By joining the coalition, you can showcase your company's leadership championing access to water for all and united with other businesses in the business of a better world.